Hello guys, it's Church of the Husky here for another fire alarm review. And today, as you've seen my previous videos, I am on an upload outbreak. Um, a tornado outbreak, but less violent. Um, <laughs> that's a silly little joke there. But this is a Firelight BG-8. Um, I got this like a week ago from a technician. It's in great condition. It was installed in a warehouse. And this is the key that goes with it. How you can tell it's a firelight key is either look for the logo on it or my stupid thumb. Look at the numbering. So this is a single action pull station. What you do is you turn it and to open it. This is the inside. As you can see, it's seen its share of better days. The way you can tell it's a first generation um, BG-8 is by this lock right here. The locks are, don't usually have this knob right here. And you can also tell it's poorly painted at the factory because these are originally silver and they finished them in red. Either the paint wore off or the um, paint shop at Firelight didn't do a good job. But how you activate this, you can activate it by opening it or you can activate it. Sorry, I just dropped the camera. Fail. Um, the way you can activate it is by pulling up here and it will release. But the way technicians in the field activate it is they just turn the key, and open it for a few seconds, releases the switch here, which then for ac activates the alarm. Which if I had a system with these, which when I get my own place I probably will use BG-8 style pull stations as my alarms because they're easy to activate and they're very good pull stations i'll probably use bg8s and bg8 related alarms as my pull stations so here's the back usual mess of wiring but yeah there's the sides Alright guys, this has been a review of the Firelight BG-8 first generation pull station. Please rate, comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. And more reviews will be coming soon.